Well, I mean, following the strong start that we had, uh, expected it May to be down. May's also a trouble month in pre-election year. Strong, June's much stronger. We got that, and it doesn't bode so well for July or Q3, but that doesn't ruin the whole year. So we're looking at the worst four months seasonally here. We're looking at uh, July uh, usually um, can be up about 2.5% when June is down, but off only about a half percent when, when June is up. So... I mean, is it true that there are just some months that are more outliers than others? In other words, when you have a month as bad as May, and now we've had a month as good as June, it's pretty easy, you know, to talk about that cadence. But from here, you know, you talk to the fundamental guys, they say it all depends. It depends on tariffs. It depends it does. on we, GDP. We look at fundamentals, technicals, the seasonals. The seasonals here have set up. If you look at the, you know, average pattern of a pre-election year, we're right on it. I mean, the average gains is 16% for the Dow and the S&P, close to 30 for NASDAQ. We're already there. Um, technicals are being tested right now. We could use some breath. We could use uh, a little breakthrough to new highs. Fundamentals are pretty solid. Can't disagree. Everyone wants you to either be bullish or bearish. We're pretty much market neutral right now. We've been so since our May 1st sell signal for the, the best. Six so you seem cautious, history. though, over the next four months. Most Historically, definitely. that has been uh, a rough patch. But do you expect that the markets will end higher at the end of the year than I they do. are today? I do. Uh, by a little, by a lot. Um, probably not a whole lot higher than here, but um, definitely, you know, a handful of percent or so uh, than, than the highs. I think we'll, we'll see a new high. December is, is uh, in the pre-election year, is where we've seen most of the pre-election year highs in December and even on the last trading day of the year. Of the, pre, of the preceding of the, year. Of the so this of year, 2019, of the, of the pre-election pre year, the third year of the four-year cycle. And what happens in, the, in 2020 in general in the election year itself? Election years have become a battleground. Uh, constant campaigning uh, starts when they went on Inauguration Day these days. Uh, we've seen some pretty nasty election years, 2000, 2008, um, 16. We had some trouble leading into it. From what we're seeing on the television and the debates and what everyone's talking about and the tariff debates and the immigration debates, a lot of unfinished business, I suspect they'll have some tougher sledding in, in, in election year 2020. But, and, the, um, and the possibility of a slowing economy. I, I mean, a lot of people are It's going to be hard. The comparisons that. are going to be you know, more difficult now that we've had the tax cuts and that sort of thing. And but the so Fed... From the, not, not to jump in, but from sure. the president's point of view, doesn't he try to do everything in his power you know, to throw things to the economy that, that yeah, help his election. that's odds. a page in the book, how the government manipulates the, the almanac, excuse me, how the government manipulates the economy to stay in power. He's trying that right now. And I think, uh, uh, was it Mr. Rutledge was talking about the, politi the politicization of this tariff uh, battle. It, both she and Trump are doing that, and they're both, you know, pretty solid politicians. I know Trump's kind of a rookie, but... But we're a year and a half out, I guess is what I'm saying. So do they focus, like, how... how when is that sweet spot for them saying this is going to have the most bang for its buck It in usually terms of happens in the pre-election year, and that's why the pre-election year has the best record of the four-year cycle. The tax cuts getting through, uh, you know, back in, the, what, 17 they put that through? That was a little bit earlier, but that's the kind of thing that they'll try to do. And he'll probably tack to the center. He's already um, got some things going on. I mean, I know he, him and, and, and the Democrats have uh, some issues, but, you know, he, he'll want to make a deal. That's and That's the most probably polite way I've ever heard uh, that. I, you know, you try to... That fracture expressed. It, it, they have some issues. Thank you. I try to be polite. But, um, <laughs> you know, we're market neutral. I think it's time for some patience over the summer. Uh, July 1st, first training day of July, best training day of the year. You mean in performance terms? Performance. Up, up 85.7% of the time in the last 21 years for the S&P, but a half a percent gain. Write that down, folks.